Hi, this is Amir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Monday, the 17th of August. And uh, apologies in advance uh, for having so many stocks here today, but uh, impossible to uh, narrow it down to uh, any uh, smaller number than we've got here today, as we are obviously in a uh, bit of a boom in the small caps area, probably the best boom since uh, the dot-com bubble. Hopefully it'll end in a happier way than that did. Starting off with uh, Seven Digital, where you can see that uh, the shares uh, broke out of that. Um, well, actually, the first point to note is that they broke uh, the initial target there, 0.8 pence uh, last week. Uh, second point is the uh, mid-move consolidation, the bull flag there. Bull flag breakout today uh, through 1.4 pence. And uh, for those uh, still in, enjoying the ride, uh, the best call on, in terms of what uh, or how far the shares could still go uh, best case scenario target at the moment at April 2019 resistance line heading towards uh, 3.3 pence. Uh, as in terms of the money management, uh, the old peak there in uh, March last year at uh, 1.86 pence. So above that, we could still stretch to 3.3 pence over the next few days or the way things are going at the moment, the next few hours. Uh, next is a stock which uh, people seem to be uh, slightly obsessed by at the moment. Uh, Amigo. I read somewhere that I think the results are coming on the, coming out on the twenty uh, eighth of August, so that should be uh, fun for all concerned. But in the meantime, uh, it's just about really this fifty uh, day moving average. Uh, the shares uh, toying with that uh, blue line there around uh, nine pence at the moment. Ideally, to be uh, let's say more confident about the stock's upside, we want to see an end of day close above uh, the fifty day line. So far, we're not quite getting that. Uh, you can see that uh, in June, uh, the shares failed at the 50-day line, as they did last month after a brief uh, spike through it. So uh, above the 50-day line would then take, hopefully, the shares up to uh, the top of that little trend channel from last month at 14 pence. Stop loss at the moment, and obviously that's uh, quite important uh, for this situation. Uh, back at 8 pence or 8.2 pence, probably the 20-day moving average, and also that July uptrend line. Uh, Barron Oil is the uh, next contender. Here you can see that um, uh, the shares have uh, uh, are trying to break through that uh, line of resistance there from uh, June. Uh, we need an end of day close above 0.1 pence uh, to open up the prospect of a move to the top of that rising trend channel uh, from uh, back in March up to 0.17. Uh, the plus points at the moment are the way that uh, the RSI has bounced above uh, the neutral 50 level and the way that uh, the uh, the near-term moving averages, I think all of them are actually moving up at the moment, so uh, that is normally a leading indicator on um, further upside. Be cautious on the shares, maybe wait for an end-of-day close above uh, the August peak at 0.11 pence uh, before considering the long argument. Uh, normally, a stock which is mentioned in the minus column has a brief blip to the upside and then comes back again, but... Uh, Today, Biotrol has uh, defied uh, history and uh, also broken through uh, the old peak uh, there from April, 7.4 pence. So above 7.4 pence uh, on an end-of-day close basis, we're looking for further upside, especially after today's gap through the 50-day moving average or above the 50-day moving average at 6 pence. Initial target there, the top of that rising trend channel from March, just shy of 10 pence. Uh, best case scenario target over the next month or so up to that uh, January resistance line projection he currently heading through 15 pence. So uh, uh, above 7.5 up to 15, hopefully, for uh, Biotrol over the next few weeks. Uh, Phalanx has had a rather a torturous uh, journey, both fundamentally and in terms of the uh, uh, the share price. But um, with the uh, uh, post-COVID environment helping stocks like this, uh, working from home, etc., uh, we've seen a gap uh, higher today, uh, breaking that line of resistance from September. Uh, at least while we're above the gap and above uh, uh, above the bottom of the gap, rather at 1.6 pence on an end-of-day close basis, uh, we could see uh, the start of a journey towards the top of that rising trend channel from June last year, heading towards 3.2 pence, hopefully by the end of next month, perhaps uh, the end of October on that situation. Always good to uh, look at a stock which has been um, uh, hammered by the bears and uh, where they've failed. Uh, and th in this case, we're looking at Iconic Labs. Uh, here you can see that uh, we had a good weekly close for the shares uh, on Friday above the 50-day uh, uh, line uh, at 0.12 pence. Uh, we've uh, rallied strongly since then. Uh, the view at this stage is really that at least while we're above uh, that um, 
old uh, or the last July peak at 0.16 pence on an end of day close basis. Uh, we could head up towards uh, the uh, uh, that May resistance line projection heading towards uh, 0.45 or up to the uh, 200 day line as a high as 0.49. I think I've said, I think I've covered this before with the same crazy looking target, but it's looking slightly less crazy uh, after today's move. Uh, somewhat reminiscent of the uh, uh, supply me chart, I would say. Uh, going on to a stock which I've seen uh, always gets good coverage on uh, FinTwit, um, Mossman uh, Oil and Gas. Uh, the highlight here it is that shares breaking through the uh, 200 day moving average finally after uh, uh, trying to do so for the whole of this month. Uh, that's at 0.15 pence, and an end of day close uh, above that uh, could set us on the uh, uh, journey towards the top of the rising trend channel from March, currently pointing as high as 0.3 pence or a little bit more. Stop loss probably back below the 50-day line now, 0.12 would be uh, uh, sufficient for that. Also mentioned in the uh, mail yesterday was uh, Occhio, uh, which has uh, decided to bounce after a recent weakness. Uh, we had a, we actually had a, uh, an island top on the shares uh, as of um, uh, the middle of last week, so that wasn't looking too clever. But uh, we've got a, uh, a gap high. Well, we fill the gap, and likely as long as we close above the gap uh, today at fourteen and a half, or while we're above fourteen and a half pence, uh, the shares look to resume their uh, upside argument. Uh, if you are looking for, if you're not in the stock looking for a buy trigger, that would be an end of day close above that uh, uh, August resistance line, uh, currently running at seventeen and a half pence. So, end of day close at seventeen and a half uh, or higher could take the shares up to the uh, best case scenario target over the next uh, two to three months as high as 35 pence at the top of that rising one year trend channel. On to a stock where there's been uh, yet more stake building reported uh, this morning. Uh, Pires, uh, I think the standing order on the stock was that uh, above three pence uh, we're looking up to uh, the seven pence level at the top of that uh, rising one year trend channel. Uh, that's been Im improved a bit now, so we can probably say while well, we're above the 50-day line at 3.5, uh, we're going up to 7 pence. An end-of-day close today above uh, recent neckline resistance and the initial August resistance at 3.6 pence would further build confidence that the stock is on its way. But uh, with, a 50 with the 200-day moving average rising at uh, 2.95 pence, it looks as though the shares are on their way. Uh, next up, a stock which is nice to get into uh, uh, situations which are just starting. Uh, remote monitor systems after a long uh, gestation period, uh, months uh, since April of uh, being in a range around 0.3 pence. Looks like we're finally breaking out. We had a couple of false dawns last month, but this time with this very solid green candle uh, today, uh, an end of day close above the 200 day line should be enough now. Uh, to take the shares uh, to the next stage, especially above um, uh, Friday's 0.34 peak would really help. Uh, the target here up to the top of that rising trend channel that I've drawn from December at 0.65, obviously retesting that brief April spike that we had. A uh, stock that I've never heard of before, which is uh, always a, um, uh, a new experience, uh, um, SEC Newgate uh, gapped higher, a couple of gaps higher over the last couple of sessions. And uh, the view here is that while we're above uh, that old December resistance at uh, 43 and a half pence, we could see further upside, hopefully towards the top of that broadening uh, triangle up to, from uh, September up to the 80 pence level. Uh, early at this stage, back below, well below 40 pence really would uh, delay the upside scenario. A uh, extremely volatile stock, which is um, uh, bouncing today, is uh, Seagate, uh, if it comes through. And uh, nice uh, setup here with this recent consolidation uh, below uh, 2 pence. A nice end of day close here above 2 pence and preferably above the initial August resistance at 2.5. Uh, would then set the shares on their way for a, a, a partial or even full retest of uh, the June spike towards 7 pence. Initial target there above 2.5 uh, up to for pence. Stock of the day, uh, and maybe stock one of the stocks of the year, the way things are going, um, is uh, Supply Me Capital. Great victory for the anti-bears on this one, uh, but plenty of people uh, trying to uh, uh, cast out on the stock, but uh, it's actually hit the uh, uh, rather crazy sounding target that was uh, here last week, 0.6 pence. 
uh, and looks like it uh, is actually intent on uh, uh, delivering uh, a little more. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, how much more we could get out of this, but something like uh, that uh, trend line from April uh, at 0.9 pence could be uh, the best case scenario target for the shares that one can uh, dig out. That's the sort of top of the broader uh, triangle for the shares. So uh, probably at this stage, while we're above uh, 0.5, uh, looking for up to 0.9 on supply me um, over the next uh, few days, the way things are going. But obviously, we've had a great run and it's a great tan bagger uh, for this month. Uh, less spectacular, uh, the last stock of the day, but uh, still uh, good to see. Uh, Valerix um, breaking now that little uh, uh, consolidation the shares had just uh, around the 15 pence level. But at least while we're above 15 pence or we get an end of day close above 15, we can upgrade the shares up to the top of that uh, trend channel from April, currently heading up to 30 pence as soon as uh, the end of next month. At this stage, only really back below 12 pence and that uh, July old July peak really delaying the upside scenario. That's it for me today. Sorry about so many stocks, but uh, all quite exciting uh, at the moment.